disappointing game tonight. First of all, how do you reflect on the cup exit itself? Yeah, disappointed. Um, the biggest thing for me is we, we, we've turned up tonight and not played to our strength. We've not passed the ball very well, we've not moved it quick enough. And we come up against a team that's high on form and it pains me to say it. And I said it to the lads in there, that I think we were outworked tonight, which is unacceptable. Um, so I've asked the lads to go and look themselves in the mirror and, and, and look at their performance. Well, I said to them at the very start, I'll never get carried away with when we win games. Um, I won't get too high and I won't get too low when we lose them. So I'll, I'll stay balanced, but it's important that lads realise that we've got to do all the horrible stuff and work really hard um, and then play the way we can. Then you've got a chance. Uh, just, just an interesting question. Was there any reason behind Tunty being on the bench tonight? Well, Hunty's missed, missed a lot of pre-season. He, he missed three, four weeks, five weeks of pre-season, so he's not played many games. Obviously, playing Tuesday, Saturday. I think then I'll see him go again tonight and then be ready for Saturday was a big ask. So I'll just try to freshen it up a little bit. Obviously, Marzo needed minutes. He's not, not had many minutes. Um, yeah, but it's easy to question it after the game. If spots and maybes, but... I've got a squad of players that are more than capable of winning games and football matches. Um, so, yeah, it just didn't work on the night. Following on from what you said about Joe, how good was it to have him back for injury for a competitive game? Yeah, obviously, he's a, he's a quality player. Albeit he's probably not showed it enough tonight. Um, along with other lads, they've not really reached the heights that, that I expect and demand of them. Um, it's good to have him back in, in the squad, obviously. He gives an extra body and... Um, I've got, I've got a headache picking the team for, for Saturday now. Uh, would you would you think going into the second half, we had that bit of spell on top where we had a couple of chances? Could that have changed the game possibly? Yeah, it could have. We had a spell. We had It wasn't long enough, let, let's be honest about it. It was about a 20-minute spell where where we played with a little bit more urgency that I asked at half-time, be a bit more front foot, a bit more aggressive, move the, the, the ball a little bit quicker. Um, and that did create opportunities for us. We... We had a couple of skill edged opportunities at important times, but didn't take them. And I think it summed up the evening in the end. It was, uh, and the finishes were a little bit half hearted and a little bit lacklustre. Um, and obviously, when they get the second, it was a mountain to climb. We threw bodies on further forward, but it wasn't a big. Looking ahead to um, the next week, I think we have two home games coming up. Yeah, two home games against two of the more fancy teams in the division. So we need to learn from tonight and learn quick because. The games will start coming thick and fast now and, and, and we're playing levels of teams that are, are higher than we did in pre-season. So we said to the lads, it's OK passing teams off the pitch pre-season when it doesn't really mean nothing. You've got to do it at teams at our level and we need to learn quick. We'll have a regroup on Thursday, have a chat and, and, and do a session and then hopefully all guns blazing on Saturday and have a, have a reaction. Obviously, you want to start your home season Saturday with a with three points, maybe in six on Tuesday. Is that, obviously, that's the ultimate aim. Yeah, that's the aim. I just want us to go out there and, and, and play like we can and, and, and work hard and uh, and create chances and score goals. And if we do that horrible stuff as well as hitting have done tonight, which I thought they did unbelievably well, the way they pressed, the way they chased lost causes, the way they put their bodies on the line, if we can get anywhere around that level of doing that and then play the football that we have shown in glimpses, um, we'll have half a chance. Thanks, Kev.